I am Peyton Douglas at Drumming PhD. We're on our way to the Granada Theater, which I can see it now, um, to watch Straight from the Path, to Being as an Ocean, and Come Back Kid. So. It's the Bloomin' Old Criminal Tour. My dad was actually a drummer too, and uh, he always played Zildjian, so maybe that had something to do with it, you know? But I don't know, they're just perfect. They're just a perfect all-around symbol. I, it's funny, when I got my endorsement with Zildjian too, it was so easy to pick out which ones I wanted, because I was just like, they all sound good, so yeah, I'll just, I'll just take these, you know? But yeah, Zildjian for sure, and I play uh, SJC custom drums. And um, I play them because I've actually known Mike, the owner, for a long, long, long time. Actually, when he first started the company, like ages ago, we used to play in two like smaller bands. He played in a band called No Trigger, and my old band toured with him. This is like 12 years ago, and uh, he told me he was starting up his company, and uh, and yeah, he started picking up some some steam. It became a big thing, and they just make fantastic drums. And you can do whatever the heck you want to your kid. You can put uh, yeah, I put your dog's face on it if you wanted yeah. to. You know I want to I mean? get some of those. those things are nice. Yeah, they, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. It's really cool. But yeah, two fantastic companies. So if you had to go on tour with two bands, any bands, who would they be? Uh, Guns N' Roses is probably my all-time favorite band since I was a kid, uh, but it would have to be like original lineup Guns N' Roses. I would love that. I always, I always say I wish I grew up in that time period, like in LA. With, I mean, it's maybe things that we shouldn't discuss went on, but uh, <laughs> probably a good time. But uh, yeah, I would love to go on tour with them or. Oh, who else, man? Um, it's a band called At The Drive-In. It's one of, another one of my favorite bands, and they're now not together anymore. They just did some reunion shows, but those are probably two of my favorite bands that I think would be, uh, I don't know, yeah, a lot of fun to talk with. Yeah. Um, how old were you when you started drumming? It was, it's, it's tough to say, because like I said, my dad was a drummer. Yeah. So I, um. He always had a drum kit in the basement. I would go down there. Usually, when I was a kid, I would try. I would tell him to shut up because it was too loud, and I couldn't hear like cartoons. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, I would go down there and just dabble a little bit, just hit things. But I, I think it was around fourth grade when I had to pick an instrument for school. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, I guess I'll, I want to do drums. And then that's the year that my mom got me my first drum kit. So yeah, about fourth grade. I don't know. What? How old are you? In fourth grade? You're in uh, sixth. Yeah. So oh. about seven or eight. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, different from your previous band uh, to now, what is your, uh, is there any difference in between drum style? Oh yeah, sure. Um, I was, you know, I was in a band called This Is Hell for a couple of years and that was more, I guess like melodic hardcore if you want to get specific where I was playing a lot of really fast like punk beat stuff like, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of that stuff. And then now, uh, playing in Stray, I guess it's more more technical. I have to do a lot more thinking when it comes to the writing, even when I'm playing. You know what I mean? I have to. There's a lot of different uh, grooves and stuff that um, I don't know. I just have to think a lot more, if that makes any sense. You know, because sometimes when you're if you're playing a song and you play the song over and over, you're just kind of like on autopilot. Where sometimes I can literally be daydreaming while I'm playing. I like you know, it's called muscle memory. You know, like your your arms just do it. But now with Stray, the difference is that yeah, just a lot more thought goes into uh, you know what the heck I'm what the heck I'm doing, and making it a little slightly more interesting, you know. But. In 2014, we saw you at Vans Warped Tour, and you guys did a cover of "Killing in the Name of" by Rage Against the Machine. Oh, that the was machine. the show you guys are at. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 
If you had to do a different cover, who would it, or what song would it be? Um, that's funny you were there because that was the only day on it, all of Warped Tour that that happened. <laughs> that was like the Monster Sages yes. cover day. You know, everyone just did a cover that day. Yeah. It was, that was fun. Um, I've always wanted to cover. <clears throat> I've always wanted to cover a Guns N' Roses song. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, there's a band called Snapcase that I really really like. I don't know if you've heard of them. Um, but we, we, I kind of get some influence from that band. I would love to cover one of their songs. Um, you know, I, I had one, and I was, I remember like arguing with my band about it one time because no one else wanted to do it. But I don't remember what it was. And I always want to cover like wacky stuff. They, <laughs> they want to cover like Deftones and Rage Against the Machine. I want to cover like you know, Guns N' Roses song, like an idiot. <laughs> um, last question. Okay. Um, if you. For beginner drummers like me, mm -hmm. and um, what advice do you give to beginner drummers? Um, advice: Make sure you can you can see a lot of drummers sometimes that I think take it a bit too seriously. I started playing drums because it was fun. You know what I mean? And never forget that drumming is fun as hell. I think it's probably one of the funnest instruments. But you see a lot of people that almost like force themselves to become a drummer. I think if you just have the general like knack for it and you have some natural rhythm or groove and you just enjoy doing it, you enjoy going home and going into your bedroom and jamming and, and listening to songs and being like, oh, that's a cool drum part. Um, I think that's something that you should never forget because you know I, I do see it a lot. There are drummers that almost force themselves to become a drummer and you can tell, you can watch them play and they look super mechanical, you know, you can tell they're not really like feeling the song. Um, and yeah, so they just take drum lessons, like make themselves play, and, and j just so they can be in a band and be big. And that's not what it's about. It's about the fun of it, the natural like feeling that you get from drumming. And that, that's what I think the most important aspect of it is to me. Thank you. Yeah, um, of course. Can't wait to see you guys tonight. Thanks, Peyton. So, Thanks yeah. a lot, man. This is fun. Thank you for sitting down with me for the interview. It was an amazing show. Um, follow him on Instagram, at Dan from the Path. If you like Rage Against the Machine, you'll like Straight from the Path. Go check out their new album, Subliminal Criminal. Um, like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel, at Drumming PhD. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, at Drumming PhD. Till next time, bye. Hi, I'm Peyton Douglas at <laughs> You don't even know your own call name. I'm trying, okay?